you versus Eli Sayers on Comedy Central oh, is like God. an iconic oh, battle. God. Legendary. Wa- uh-huh. Watching that. Because Eli brought the kid is a, on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you brought your kid. Was, it was a beautiful moment. The victory is a beautiful moment. But you kind of like, you kind of dethroned who was like a, a freight train of a roast battler, yeah. which was Eli Sayers. I mean, I, th- I don't think a lot of people know like the true story of like how up that battle was yeah. tell me about it I've, let's hear it the eli the, the eli battle between the two of us had been in the works for a couple years yeah and him and i are both like super old school love of the game guys like yeah. we wanted to do it in new york three rounds the way they used to do it sure. do it proper yeah. i wanted to do it on his home field that was how i Huge. wanted to do it the real shit the dark and gritty yeah. kind of roast battle shit. the la versus new york days exactly but yeah. then i had moses in my ear for about a year before the battle, mm-hmm. hold up. We we might need that for TV. Hold sure. up. Okay. Hold up. So I had to save it. So what happened was, you know, they put us on Comedy Central, and Eli got really stressed out leading up to the battle. Yeah. He has, Which is reasonable. Mm-hmm. For sure, but it's it's, OCD, it's even though. deeper than that. Mm-hmm. There's a there's an episode he was on after this happened of uh, Skeptic Tank with Ari Shafir, okay. where he talks about to the like what depths his OCD mm-hmm. hit right before the battle no and I shit. had no idea okay. that the night before the battle he's up in his hotel room rocking back and forth and counting to a billion and washing his hands and oh, shit man. like because it, you know he's uh, there's also this weird he was raised Mennonite so there's this yeah. weird and I don't want to misspeak mm-hmm. but something about like Christian a satanic Gil- piece oh. of it where he feels like if he doesn't wash his hands the devil will take over his body like Ooh, wow. crazy shit right wow um, so that all manifested the night before the battle. Insane. He's losing his mind, and I keep trying to calm him down. I was that's like, what it takes for Pat to win. Satan needs to intervene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kept trying to calm so him Pat, down. So you align you know? your soul with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Pat's, Not, Pat's like, calm down, calm down. He's like drawing crucifixes <laughs> yeah. in the Not air. Not everybody has an opportunity to win a roast battle on Comedy Central <laughs> Digital. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't on the TV show. Which, by the way, it was supposed to. We're gonna we're gonna get there. Okay, so, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, long story short, I kept trying to calm him down, and the the uh, analogy. I was using, I yeah. was like, this is the all-star game. We're mm-hmm. just going out and having fun. Yeah. And then we had already agreed, no matter what happens, I'm still coming to Chicago. We're doing a three-rounder. We're going to do it proper. Yeah. New York. Just Let's just have fun with this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, New York. That's what I meant. Thanks. Um, but I'm like, let's just have fun. And he just did not have fun. I didn't know he was in such a dark place. Oh, and then when wow. he found out I was bringing my kid up on stage, he got even like weirder wow. about that. Um, and what happened was we all had to send our jokes to Comedy Central. Yeah. They have to look at them ahead of time. Yeah. And I remember I had one that was supposed to be like triple overtime, break glass in case of emergency that yeah. they were like, we don't, can you not do that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But other than that, no notes. So Eli sent his jokes in. Yeah. We go, we battle. I treat it like the all-star game. I'm up there having sure. fun, bringing yeah. my kid out on stage. Yep. You're goofing. He does entirely miscarriage jokes. Yeah. So the yeah. battle ends. We're standing backstage. Ooh. Now, every episode was two battles, and then they brought the winners out for like a little medal mm-hmm. ceremony, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Can I th- just interject really Please quick do. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. that? Yeah. It's important to know the uh, jokes that he did did not go over well with the audience. No. They That's a very important part. They didn't like, part. The, they did they, like they, the first they one, not. and then he just did like four more. Yeah, right. they didn't like it. Sorry, I just wanted to make and sure that's, that was that's always kind of been a thing for me for yeah. the most part. Like yeah. People do go super heavy on miscarriage. It very rarely works, right? Yeah. But yeah. So I win the battle. I'm standing backstage. I'm waiting for what is supposed to be the medal ceremony. And Alex DeWong is battling Robin Tran in what was supposed to be a Comedy Central digital battle. Okay. And they're fucking murdering both of them. They're oh, crushing. Yeah. And it was an easy decision for the Comedy Central guys. They're like, why don't we put the thing on TV that's actually good on both sides? Sure. Yep. Um, so and you guys got the deep cut treatment. Like, if yeah. you want more, go on. So I get the word. That, hey, they're bumping you guys to digital. This all happens within 10 minutes of getting off stage. But the stagehands don't know. So they still send me out for the medal ceremony. It's supposed to happen at the end of the episode. And I'm telling the guy, I'm like, no, I got bumped to digital. And he's like, you have to go out there. I was like, no, I'm not supposed to be out there. No shit. Get get Alex. And he's like, all I know. He didn't know. He's like, all I know is they said you. So I go out there (laughs) and I stand next to Yamanika Saunders and just wait to get pulled off stage. I'm just oh, waiting for somebody to come sure. with the fucking hook. Yep. And I'm just like, and sure enough, somebody comes up after like the longest two minutes of my life. 
And they're just like, hey, you got to go. I'm like, I know. I Yeah, yeah, yeah I was I saying know, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to be polite to the stagehand. Yeah, and then and fire the damn intern it. from Columbia. <laughs> this is what I give for being a nice guy. Yeah, fire the dude in the USC hoodie, okay? He was the one who sent me over <laughs> right. here. Yeah. In the aftermath, I find out, now there's some discrepancy as to whether or not his jokes were approved. He mm. says he sent them all in. It was no problem. Yeah. Comedy Central said we didn't know he was going to make five miscarriage jokes. There's mm. obviously wow. yeah, a little yeah. bit of, you know, yeah. missed wires in there. Um, but either way, he never battled. Because wanted seven. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. They yeah, were like, yeah. "What the fuck, dude? We thought you were doing two more miscarriage jokes." Yeah, come on. Come on. Take it. Honestly, to labor. Eli, you're not it. pushing this hard enough. <laughs> and, I, and we to, we told you to really write for this fucking thing. Yeah, dude. But then he he retired. He was like, "I'm never battling." He never battled again. Wow. He kind of disappeared from the public eye. I think about him a lot. I hope yeah. he's good. We, yeah, I do my, more than yeah. I would admit. Yeah. Bro, my 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 wife was obviously furious, mm, and like sure. he oh, wow, tried yeah. to apologize to her at the after party, and she was not having it wow. for at all. And from my attitude, you know that you know yeah. that Chappelle bit where he talks about Michael Richards, yeah. yeah, and he's like, "That was the moment I realized I'm more comedian than I am black guy." Because the black guy in me was like, "This motherfucker," and then yeah, the, yeah. the comic in me was like, "Damn, Kramer's having a rough set. Hang in there." But <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I feel about Eli. I'm like, "You right, picked the wrong yeah. set list. It doesn't yeah. make you." We went to the Dodgers game the next night. Like, wow, he's still. That's I, an awkward hot know. dog, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird eating, mustard drench this conversation. Hot dog. You know, they're <laughs> eating the same hot dog, just lady in the tramping it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, real Dodger. But dog. yeah, I mean that—that that was a—that's uh, kind of the story behind that. And Brilliant. then we, we never got to battle in New York. He kind of disappeared. Nice. I've talked to him a couple times, but I just—I hope he's good. Yeah. All but, right. Uh, so when are you doing yeah. a naked roast battle? Dude, never. <laughs> I don't get. Dig- I don't. Speaking of digital deep cuts, I don't get. I don't get that shit, man. Yeah, they, me neither. They, they've been me doing neither. that skank fest and yeah. for years. No appeal to it at all. And I don't me. understand. That being said, I did see the Keith Carey versus Conor McSpadden one. That was a fun one. That was on Comedy was Central. Like, you saw it live. Yeah, I was I was in the balcony. I think it would be unsettling to see live. That's what I thought. And that's that's a that is a slight on Keith Carey and Connor McSpadden. <laughs> More on Connor. The, oh, the, the, really? Yeah, the blurs did Connor some favors. <laughs> Keith won that battle in Go. every possible. Wow, <laughs> Keith's got a hug. Yeah, confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. Yeah, Keith, Keith Carey's got a hug. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And he swings both ways. All viewers, oh. you're welcome. <laughs> hey, but hey, it, it drop did, that like. He did add something to it though, because yeah. I'm in the upper deck. Like this is gonna suck. And then they they get they, I just couldn't stop laughing the whole That's time. That's so funny. And it obviously yeah. are both really funny, but it's yeah. just a level of bravery with that. I don't oh for know. sure. You know I, mean? yeah. I could never in a million years. Yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah, I know yeah. everyone's like, oh, if you if you're uh, like, you, the, what's the line? Everyone's like, oh, if you wear this and you don't have the the, the body of the ideal body, you're so brave. I'm like, no, you're literally naked. That that's <laughs> yeah. bravery. For you're me. a fucking idiot. And you're signing up to be insulted about mm-hmm. it at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's no, nuts. I, yeah. Could never. You got some balls, and you'll be able to see them too if you do that. <laughs> yeah. um, so let me let me ask you this because it impresses me how much you're aware of what the other scenes are doing. I know it's technically your job or yeah. whatever. Right. Does it ever just get fucking exhausting? Yeah, absolutely. Just battle after battle, absolutely. scene after scene. I'm sick of it just seeing all this shit yes. in our scene. So what what is the thing that you would like to see being the person that maybe has seen more roast battles than any person? Right. What is the thing you'd like to see roasters do more of that they're not doing currently? Man, that's a good question. I guess just try to like <clears throat> try to challenge yourself to think outside of the box a little bit. It's hard when people don't know the history of the thing, right? Yeah. If you're yeah. just some guy in Toronto who, you know, they're like, "Hey, come do this show." Like you don't know yeah. that, you know, the, the, the uh, carrot bottom or oh, been done uh, before. you know um, what I mean like yeah uh, uh, Andrew Dice Gay yeah. for any tough guy exactly yeah, yeah American um, History XXL was like yeah. every fat white oh, guy yeah, got yeah. that I heard that joke a thousand times yeah. So it's yeah. it's like you know I I just wish that everybody would kind of and and most cities are good with this but we have a couple cities where I'm not entirely convinced that the comics are taking it super seriously mm-hmm. like they're just yeah. going up there for the lark of it they all right name drop the city yeah, right now stare into the camera and say Denver they- <laughs> 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 I'm joking I've just picked a random city or they, they agree uh. they agree to they agree to do it um you know but, but for they, them it's a show like they're, they're, they're there purely for the show which for I, sure. I don't have an issue yeah with. I, neither yeah. do I neither and neither then that comes I. with it being such like a loosely defined um league you know yeah for sure and yeah. but just some cities have done a, a really good job of it, it, some cities have their own thing where they're selling out and like the the, yeah. the clips are you know popping and everything like that and they don't need to sell it on like a bigger level like we're yeah. part of this league like mm-hmm. frankly uh there are some cities where i think the league thing is like secondary and i get that they're doing their yeah. own thing and it's working yeah, yeah and then there are other cities that are like hey we're part of this thing and it's been big and it's really helped them grow yes um, we're, we're, i think we're in that category <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah for sure and like you know even 
Denver, which came like a year Huge. ago. Um, mm-hmm. They were running like much, much smaller shows. And now they're at like the improv and everything like that. Yeah, that's huge. Um, but then there are other cities, you know, where th- it's it's a learning curve, you know, so. Yeah. So I d- like the league that you talk about things you don't like. What's the hackiest premise you see over and over again? We were talking yeah. about something. Oh, it's just. The, the, yeah. one, the one you're like, I don't want to hear. Another one of these. It's ever just. Again. It's we were just, said, I want. What's your number one? What's your number one? If I have to narrow it down to one, yeah, it, it's so hard because the the Bermuda Triangle of calling a white guy a racist, racist rapist, pedophile. and pedophile mm-hmm. okay. is like it's always yes, those that's three. So true. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, it's easy. I get it. And all white guys do look like that. Mm-hmm. I understand. Sure. But um, how about this? The other side of the coin. Who's the most creative battlers in the league right now? You like, any anytime you get a battle from me, you're like I want to. I want to see what they're doing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you, you guys have a few out here. Eric Emerson is yeah, a guy that I, yep. I, I I always. Uh, really like watching his shit. Very Obviously, guy. you know Brandon Kiefer, who was just down at the mothership. Just a schoolyard um, bully. Yeah. Just very, mm-hmm. very simple. Very, but like mm-hmm. simple and and dense. Leah K. Janian, who who's Great. out here, who I've battled twice and lost both times. Like she's she's a fucking yeah. She's a monster. Uh, you know Morgan Anderson um, from the Bay okay. is really funny. Oh yeah. Um, she yeah. won the South by Southwest. She did. She won the South by Southwest tournament and she's coming next uh, show, I believe. Great. Awesome. Oh, oh here? Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 And. And Denver actually has some really um, interesting guys. Yeah. Like sometimes I thought you, I saw one from Denver. I was you've you've like, seen like a, a thousand battles or a million battles, and yeah. it takes like the dumbest thing to make you laugh. And they, they got this guy Evan Joe who just won their their championship, mm-hmm. and Huge. he was doing a battle. And the other guy, he's got he looks like Weird Al. And the other guy made a joke about like you know he's like the bri- the bridge toller works at Hot Topic or whatever. Yeah, you have really. to answer riddles to whatever. Yeah. And he just goes, "Wow, I specifically asked you to not make any jokes about being a bridge toll at Hot Topic." <laughs> 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 the one thing I asked oh, you and I'm like, that. "God damn, that's so funny. How has nobody ever that's done that?" Really that. Love that. Uh,